You really had to make an impression, right? Nice costume, though. How are you, Priya? What do you think? I'm sorry that I came up as insensitive. Oh, no, no. I'm doing pretty good in here. I have my bath thrice a day. I brush my teeth two times daily. I even have mac and cheese with salad on the side for lunch. Every weekend I go on a spin in a 2020 Maserati and get a premium five-star whore treat. Steamy stewy sauce, right? Now tell me, Looney, what are you doing here? Again, Priya, I'm, I'm very sorry. I know things are quite hard for you in here, but it's been crazy for us out there too. I'm here for you now. Here for me? After three months of incarceration? Not you, mom or dad? Okay, I can excuse daddy and mommy Jill for not wanting to have anything to do with their murderous son. But you? How could you leave me defenseless in that unfair trial? You didn't deem it imperative to know if I still had breath in me to spare for the next daylight in this horrendous, fiendish, and sorry excuse of a penal institution called a prison? 
and you strut your way in here like a New York model, dressed in the regalia of a self-serving barrister, doing what? Now I ask you again, Samano, what are you doing here? Look, Priye, I know it seems like we consigned you to oblivion, but that is far from the true situation of things. All right, else I wouldn't be here to see you. For what exactly? I am taking up your case. As what? As your attorney. <laughs> uh, the Holy Spirit finally revealed to your parents how heartless they are, using spirituality as a wayward excuse to condemn their son to abyss without a fair trial. Look, they didn't want to show bias. People are watching. I understand. Especially how associating with a modest suspect will in some weird way spark up a church controversy that would affect tithe and offering and worst case divide the church and perhaps portray them as the hypocrites that they truly are. That's unfair, Priya. They saw this in their vision, warned you but you just wouldn't listen. Oh, fuck you, Tamuno. Fuck your goddamned parents and your religious ego. Fuck their visions and, and fuck you again, Tamuno. Well, if it's any consolation, mom and dad aren't proud of the way you were treated. All right? They were angry. The anger went too far, I agree, but, but now they want to make amends. And they sent their dear, God-fearing, kingdom-worthy son after the prodigal one. They sent a rookie lawyer who wanna be instead of a senior advocate of Nigeria. Is this supposed to be a joke? Enough. Enough with this legend. I am a lawyer. Don't tell me something I can't clap my eyes to right now. Look, Priya. I'm a licensed criminal attorney. Not just a criminal attorney, but one who is knowledgeable and dealing with intricate and complex cases that involve arraignment, arrest, and criminal trials as yours. Since the inception of my practice, I have never ever lost a case, and I do not intend to lose one now. Considering the fact that I have my freedom, I shouldn't be giving this, please, Simon. Now, <clears throat> having made my point crystal, I'd like to further this conversation professionally. Interesting. So is this being mommy and daddy's adorable puppet or an arrogant, nice kid brother? Or is this about having my initials on your impressive work portfolio, knowing fully well that I'm innocent of a crime I've been accused of? Huh? Now tell me, which one is it? If I recall vividly, I've never as much as served you with such impression. I am here with the heart of a brother that cares, and a wielded professional mindset focused on your freedom, which is my drive. All I need from you is your cooperation. I mean, unless you want to be forgotten in here, as you'd never get a fair trial in the absence of my help. So please. Quit being obnoxious and let's focus on the issue at hand. Obnoxious? You sit pretty and brand me obnoxious? Do you know the disregard and disrespect my well-being in here has been? Do you know how traumatized and depressed I've been in the last three months? My mental state has been in disarray because I've been accused of a crime I know next to nothing about. And you sit there and brand me obnoxious? Do you have an idea how much undesirable routine exercise my bunghole is exposed to on a daily? Do you freaking know? Now get the fuck out of here before I add a second murder to my case. I'm sorry, Pierre. I had no idea. Get out! Mom has been battling high blood pressure. That has been bed reading, and both happened immediately after your arrest. I am the only one left in the entire world who can ardently see that you get a fair trial for the capital offense levied against you. If you kick me out, you might as well be ditching your chance to freedom. So please pray, I 
plead with you. Rethink your decision. Please. Please sit. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you let me rant that badly? You were angry. You needed to get that out for everyone's sake. So tell me, how did this happen? Oh well. It all happened when I got home. Baby, why are you crying? He didn't get the job, I presume. But hey, it's just a job. Don't worry, the opportunities will spring up soon, okay? I was rejected. I failed the medical test. <laughs> medical test. Tested positive. To so what? Try <laughs> me. How did we get here? Did you sleep with someone else? But seriously, Priye, is this how this will go? One way? How about we look at this both ways? you, I've worshipped you, I've adored you, I've protected you even from my family, never have I seen the nakedness of another woman, but can you say the same Sharon, can you? Yes, yes, I love you the same or even more, but but what? I made a mistake. It was just one person and it was a mistake. I know this is not the answer you seek right now, but it would be so unfair not to tell you about this now. Who? Oh, do I know him? <laughs> please don't ask me, please. Answer me. Priya, please! <laughs> when you're ready to talk, call me. <laughs> You had a blood all over you. You 
how to print all over the mother weapon. You didn't have an alibi to corroborate your story. That's how you handed all of the aces to the prosecutor. Tamanak, if I killed her, why did I call the police? You were scared. You were remorseful. You banked on blackmailing the system with the report. You had so much confidence in your story. You didn't have a choice. I mean, you couldn't have run because you would have been caught anyways. And you wanted to be caught at the time. Is that all instinct that got vaporized and now you want to wriggle out of this? These are fabricated nonsense. Calm down, Priya. Look, this is not how you get yourself out of this self-created mess. I have all of the arrows pointing at you, which makes my job difficult. Right now, we need to find a way to redirect these arrows. How? Moti. We also benefit most from her death. We also want her. Shut up. Sharon was a dove. No one would want to hurt her. Well, that's hard to believe. Your story already positioned her as a whore. To use the exact word. Tamano, she made a mistake. It was just one man. This is why you are still in here. Gullible to a fault. How come she never told you who this one guy is or was? Doesn't that tell you anything? She most likely was whoring around or sleeping with some dangerous men which maybe got her killed for fear of them being exposed. Now that's the theory we'll build. We'll find one of these men. We'll find all of them and then we can fish out the culprit amongst them. I loved her, Tamano. I can't disrespect her legacy. No, there, there has to be another way. I can't dishonor her like this. She made a mistake. She told me about it. She was sorry. She wanted to make amends. I was angry and, and then th this happened. Yes, this happened because she has fucked up your head so badly. You're not even silly enough to see the truth even when he's staring at you in the face. Look, if you want to get out of prison, let me help you by getting the terms with the reality that can help you. You were dating a whore and now you're caught up with this dangerous sexual conspiracy that you are even oblivious of. Is this the true reality or the one that gets me out? I want you to be damn honest with me. You want honesty? Then you have it. You were fucking a whore who held you down in lies with pretense to love you. Got infected. Infected you and hid the truth behind an imaginary one guy. Then she said they used a condom and it ripped perhaps? Yeah. Yes. She did. Are you still believe her lies? No. I never told you that. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, bro, but you've been screaming that since you started this testimony. Your eyes, your nose, your ear, your mouth, your entire body have been screaming, Oh yes, I believe this stupid lie! And no, not that. Then what? You, that she said they used a condom and it got ripped, perhaps. Uh, I'm sure you did say it. No. I mean, considering the pattern, even the drunkard must figure she'd say that. Unless in this case you're not a drunkard and you're saying it in the exact same way that you did. This isn't a coincidence, is it? I think we're done here. Tamano, you will sit your butt right there. I won't. Why don't you tell me? Priya, it's not too late. Okay, just let me help you. I can fix this. Tamano, if you don't start talking now, I'm going to start talking. And not to you. The things I know about you, mom, dad, the church, 
Oh, I will fuck this family over and send the church and its fucked up reputations to ruins. Dare me now and walk out. This doesn't look good. My brother and my ex shack partner. Doesn't sound good. Look, I've done everything I can to dissuade my brother from dating you. And I just can't tell him why. Well, if you don't want us to get at this badly, maybe you should just tell him why. Come on, Sharon, I'm not the devil here. Well, the devil didn't say he's the devil when he tempted Eve. Tamno. I know we had what we had. And I can't change that, which is really bad. But then Priye really loves me. And you shouldn't be mad. And it's so hard because I truly and sincerely love Priye. But I can't be enemies with you either. Look, he can't know about us. No one can. That's a memory I'm desperate to erase too. No, 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 please. I've missed you. No, you, you can't be. Calm down. Are you could be kidding. I missed you. Look, you must be delusional to think I would let you rape me into this well calculated plot. Tamino, all I'm asking is that you get tested and let's know your status too. Wait, is this some rude joke or what? Huh? Look, you can't drag me to this now. Alright? I apologize for the last time, but I have moved past it. Tamino, I don't want to tell him. Maybe you should just go ahead and tell him. The problem is you're going to keep me off your lips. So don't you dare double cross me right now. Look, a scandal is the last thing my family needs now. And a sexual scandal is the last thing I want to be a part of. Just get tested. How difficult can that be? Get out. Just get out! Tamuno! I said get out of my car! Why is it difficult to make you see things different and stop hiring me with your calls? What would you rather have me do, Tamuno? I'm confused. My whole life is blinking away faster than I ever presupposed. And you expect me to sit right here and do absolutely nothing? All I'm just asking of you, Tamuno, is that you take the test so at least I can rule you out. Or rule me. You know, I like the fact that you are smart and proactive, Sharon. Now, you ruling me out means the existence of other men who could have potentially been responsible for giving you this HIV, and yet you chose me! Tamuno, I have told you this before. Before your brother was you. After your brother was still you. Why are you even like this? Because you're about to ruin all our lives! Tamuno, this may be the last thing you want to hear, but it needs to be said regardless. I am not about to die, Tamuno. I love my life too. I've been doing a lot of research and studies in the past hours, and I've realized it's not even as bad as I thought or you're thinking. You just need to be sure right now. Likewise, myself and Priye, Tamuno, it's not too late. The virus can be suppressed such that I 
you, a prey, will not be able to transmit it to anyone else, even whilst having unprotected sex. We can live our lives normally like the virus is not even there. What nonsense are you speaking? I discovered the antiretroviral treatment. The virus will be undetectable, which will make it not transmittable. Now, as long as we strictly adhere to our given medication and we check the virus load in our systems every two to four months, we can live our lives free of transmitting this virus to our loved ones or, 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 or fear of that. Priya doesn't even know this yet. And I'm sure he will feel much more relieved when he comes to know about it. This is true. We just need to be sure about you now, Tamuno. Why are you hell-bent on afflicting my family with agony? Isn't Priya enough? He brought this upon himself, so let him enjoy it. Not me. Not my parents. And not the church. Tamuno. Why does everything always have to tilt around you, your parents, your family, the church? What tickles you so badly that it shreds you of every atom of human empathy everyone should have? What? This is your problem, Sharon. And my family and I will not wish to be a part of it. And we'll be happy if you would respect our wishes. Thank you. Very well then. Since it's my personal issue, I will treat it very personal, but until I see your test results, or else I will tell Priya every truth he needs to know. Don't try me. Yeah. I'd rather have you die faster than the HIV would have killed you and have you corrupt my family with your sin. He didn't want a sexual scandal, and you did this? It wasn't fake. I regret it. I regret everything. Did he eventually do a test? Yes. The result? <gasps> I was right about the anti-retroviral treatment.